So how long does it take to start getting sales in your Etsy shop? And how long does it take to start getting consistent sales in your Etsy shop? Today we're going to go over how to get sales faster so that you can start making money from your print on demand or handmade products. Hi there, I'm Simply Shauna and I have an Etsy shop connected with a print on demand company. And what that means is they print all of my items up for me. I primarily sell t-shirts and sweatshirts. They print them all up for me and they ship them out to my customer, which gives me lots of time to make new fresh designs and scale my shop. I used to be a fourth grade teacher. I was able to quit my job about a year and a half ago, which would have been about a year and a half after I started my Etsy shop. And last year I made triple the profit in my Etsy shop than what I would have made as a school teacher for the year. So needless to say, I really believe in this business model. I'm really excited to share it with you. I've really been excited to share it with friends and family as well. And so my sister-in-law, Danielle, and many of my friends, teachers that I used to work with, and my other close friends have opened Etsy shops and I've watched them as they get their first sale their 10th sale, their 100th sale, and some of them have you know thousands of sales now. And so I know a thing or two about how long it takes and what it takes to get that first sale or to get to a place where you're making those consistent sales. And if this happens to be your first video hearing about print on demand and Etsy and you feeling any kind of intimidation about, oh, she has to design things, I don't know if I can do that. I wasn't a designer either. I just downloaded a design app. You can look into Kittle or GoDaddy Studios or Canva. You download one of these apps and it's not much different from scrapbooking. You put little pieces of clip art and you put some words and you download that image, place it on top of a picture of a shirt and list that in your Etsy shop. Let's jump into the question, how long does it take to get sales on Etsy? Because if you're anything like me, you put that first listing out and then you're waiting to hear a cha-ching. You're just waiting for someone to see your shirt and, and to purchase it. So there really is no one size fits all answer to this question, but I can give you some pretty decent guidelines. I'm going to give you three examples of different types of Etsy sellers and how long it took them to get their first sale and then to get into consistent sales. And maybe you can kind of identify with one of these Etsy seller personalities. First example is based on my experience. I had absolutely no experience when I started Etsy. I had no design experience. I didn't know how to do any market research. I didn't know how to sell things to people or to create things that people would want to purchase. After 50 listings, I got one sale. It was right around 50 listings. All 50 of those designs were just in two or three niches that I personally enjoyed. So that's why I started designing there. So I was consistently listing in those couple of niches week after week. I remember being at around 700 listings and having right around 70 sales. Now, some people might not think that that's very much for the amount of effort it would have taken to create 700 listings but I was ecstatic because I understood how once you get the snowball going, that sales can just snowball from there and you can really gain momentum in the algorithm. It took me right around five months to get those 700 listings up. I was listening to content on YouTube every single day and applying what people were telling me to my Etsy shop. At this learning and listing pace, it was right around month seven where I was seeing very consistent orders in my shop and multiple orders most days. And as I continued my consistent behaviors from there, it really just snowballed and more and more sales. Or maybe you fit more into this category. My best friend Shay is at over 100 sales with right around 500 listings. So she has more sales compared to my 70 when I was at 700 listings, but these listings also had more time on Etsy in Shay's shop. 
They took over a year to get listed and she has only just become more consistent in her listing schedule over the last few months. So while I felt my first 70 sales came fast, even though I listed more than her 500, she has been feeling that slowness because of the longer length of time that she's been plugging away and getting those listings out. Scaling is a bit more difficult when you're not as consistent and not putting as many designs out each week. Or maybe you're more like my friend Laneda, who got over 2,000 listings up in her shop and only got around 30 sales. And this was because there was no market research behind those listings. And in fact, many of them were right off Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is wonderful. We all love Creative Fabrica. I will leave them linked down below if you haven't tried them out yet. But as someone who doesn't design and is not an artist, it is wonderful being able to go and get artwork right off Creative Fabrica and be allowed to use that in my designs that I am selling. But you don't want to just take it off as is and use it as is. You want to do market research and then use elements and graphics that you're finding in Creative Fabrica to support the market research you did on Etsy. I have lots of videos about that market research. I'll leave a playlist down below if you want to know more about that. Now you might imagine how frustrated Laneda was becoming. She made some important changes in her shop and only had to list, I think maybe another 100 listings after making those important changes before her shop started to climb up to 1,000 sales rather quickly from there. I did an interview with Laneda here and we talk all about it and she talks about the very specific changes that she made that impacted her shop. So I'll leave that video also linked down below. If you want to know more about their journeys, we did create another YouTube channel together called No Friend Left Behind, and I will leave it linked down below. Now, I share all of this with you to show you how long it takes you to get sales on Etsy really does depend on you, your willingness to learn, your consistency each day or week, and how long it takes you to get good at the skills you need to run your business. And like anything in life, the more you do something, the better you get at it. So if you are able to list and design consistently each week and you're always listening to content and making an effort to learn and make each design better than the last that you did, then you're going to find success a lot faster. Now let's go over some tips for getting sales faster on Etsy. First and foremost, do your research and find out what's selling on Etsy. Make sure you are listing products that are highly searched. That means lots of people are already coming to the Etsy marketplace and they're searching up looking for those products. Products like t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, tumblers, blankets, and so many more. I'll leave some videos linked down below if you're looking for some help with that. Also, do your market research on the niches and the designs that you're creating. And this one's huge. It's, I think, where a lot of us kind of get stuck and get a lot of listings out that we're not doing this piece or we feel like we're doing all this work and we're not seeing a return on our effort. And I find this is the piece that most people are, are missing. Do the market research on your niches and the designs that you're creating. This was the part I thought was the most difficult, but boy, did Etsy become more fun once I fumbled my way through it enough times to get good at it. I did mention this playlist earlier. I will link the entire playlist of those videos I have that help teach you step-by-step -step with lots of examples on how to do that market research. Third tip for you is to make sure you have high-quality listings. So make sure your mock-up photos are really nice. This is arguably the most important part of a high quality listing. Once you have a well-researched design and you've designed based on what you notice in the market research, you want to make sure that you're putting that on a mock-up photo that is really a good converting mock-up photo and has a chance to do well for you. That mock-up photo, you know, the customer is imagining themselves wearing this while doing, you know, whatever activity that niche is in. So for me, like a teacher shirt, I would buy all these teacher shirts to wear in my classroom while I was inspiring my students. And so a mock-up photo that either showed that shirt with a cute outfit, I could imagine myself wearing that, 
or just a live model that kind of encompassed that kind of good energy that I was looking to have when I'm wearing the shirt. This is what we mean by having a, a good mock-up photo. It needs to be high quality, it needs to look nice, and then if it can convey like a feeling, your potential customer isn't just buying that shirt, they're buying the whole vibe and feeling of what they're thinking and imagining is gonna happen while they're wearing that shirt. And my last tip might be considering using Etsy ads once you know you're getting really good with the market research. You really wanna be good at designing things that are based on market research before you start running ads to your listings. Now, some common mistakes that slow down your sales. But first I'll take a second to invite you to go down and boop the like button if you're enjoying this video. So I know that I'm picking the right kinds of topics to chat about with you. And if you aren't a regular around here, but you'd like to see me pop up in your YouTube recommendations more often, then hi, I'm Simply Shauna. Nice to meet you if we haven't met yet. I'll invite you now to go down and subscribe. Common mistake that can slow down your sales We've got the obvious, like pricing your products too high. So I wouldn't go in my shop and list a Bella Canvas or a Gildan t-shirt for $30. You're gonna wanna be more in the range of 20 to $24. That's where most of the shirts are landing. A lot of mine are priced right around 21 to 23 and change. Another obvious mistake is neglecting to do your research on your SEO. I have a great video for you here and I will link it down below. And this one is not as obvious and people get kind of confused about this. So I'll take a second to really highlight this next one, not doubling down on what's working in your own shop. If someone is favoriting a certain niche that you're working in, make more designs in that niche. You could take the same design that's starting to sell, maybe put it on another product like a sweatshirt, but you really want, and if you're not getting sales yet, then double down on what's getting favorites or views. Start there, that's what I did. And let's chat for a second about how to stay motivated when you're not getting sales, because that's the part that keeps people from ever getting success, giving up during this period of time. And boy, that's a hard period of time to be getting those listings out and not making the sales. I know it is it is rough. So I want you to remember that it takes time to build a successful Etsy shop. That saying really is true. Rome really was not built in a day. Don't give up on your dreams. Listen to people's origin stories about their Etsy shops. Every single person that I've ever heard tell a story about their success on Etsy that has led them to six figure shops has started with the grind and just persevering through that. Gain strength from that knowledge. Know that you're not the only one to struggle. And if you do need more encouragement there, I do encourage you to check out that other channel I mentioned, No Friend Left Behind. And keep learning and improving just a little bit each day. That is going to add up over time, I promise you. And I used to live by the motto, if you're not making the sales you want to, then list, list, list. I must have said that to myself for an entire seven or eight months every afternoon numerous times. If you're still here, I'd love to know where you are at in your journey. Go down in the comments, tell me what how many sales you have or maybe how many listings you have. Well, if you're still waiting to get your first sale or maybe you're just thinking about opening your shop go down and chat with me. And if you want help getting to your 100th sale, then you're gonna wanna watch this video next, but not until after the tip from Tucker. Tucker, take it away!